Welcome to the High Altitude Show. I'm your host, iJan784, the Up Top Boss. And today, I'm going to talk to you about stop wasting your creative energy. Start your own backyard garden with crops, not cactus. So I'm back. So I've recently started my journey of self-love, self-awareness, self-actualization, right? Just on the road of becoming a better version of myself. And one way I choose to do that is I compete with my past self, meaning each day I live, I try to better what I did the previous day. Let's get a show on the road. I was given a cactus by someone very special to me. Right? I'm going to be truthful and I'm going to cut the long love story short. The cactus died. And that's when it hit me. Why put so much care and effort into a cactus when I could put that same effort and care into crops, into veg vegetables, into things that are going to help me to become a healthier me? So this is when I decide to embark on a journey of starting my own backyard garden. And by doing so, I was able to watch these scraps, plants, grow from seedlings, from slips, into mature flowering plants. Then I realized I really could take care of stuff and I was being creative, I was being caring. Was it worth it? And you may ask, was the journey easy? No, it was not. So, not wasted my creative energy. It meant that I had to put a lot of effort into these plants. I had to water them twice a day because I started this garden in the dry season. So without water, they would have withered away. I also had to apply manure because I believe in organic fertilizers, you know, keeping it strict from farm to table. I also had to weed through my crops because there was unwanted shrubs and other weeds that grew up around them. And if you don't weed out these bad shrubs, these bad grass, they're gonna in turn, they're gonna affect the crop. Insects are gonna hamper the growth and things and the yield of your harvest won't reach its optimum potential. Yeah, some elephant in the room I want to share to you about farming. And the first elephant that I'm going to let out is that you got to be aware of animals that will come to destroy you. So in my case, in my backyard garden, everything was going good with my crops, everything was going good. And then up came a good kid. We call him Kitty. And this small goat just strolled through my garden and it started to eat my peppers i could tell you i was devastated and i even got angry i went to the owners and i told them like this watch if you don't contain this goat i'm gonna eat it because it's eating the nutrients of my plants so to get the nutrients of my plants I gotta eat it, all right? The second elephant or the second obstacle that I picked up during starting my backyard farm is that we gotta re remember that we don't have control over natural disasters, right? So we gotta farm and then you might hear a storm is coming and this storm might just blow your crop, your plantation down. Does that give you a reason to quit? No, because at the end of the day, 
the Most High is in control of all those stuff. And the third thing that I want you to be aware of, you got to be aware of the tax collectors or the night harvesters, right? Those people who want to sit on the butt, look at the fruits of your labor, and when it's reaping time, when it's harvesting time, they're going to just come right in and they're going to take and harvest your crop. Now, this has been a cry for plenty farmers around the world. We got to do something about these night harvesters, these night tax collectors, right? All in all, you're gonna meet persons and obstacles who are gonna try to detract you in your venture on your life journey but I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't let them get you down you should keep persevering this venture of farming the joy and happiness you get when you notice the fruits of your labor they are endless and it's the same on your life journey if you go after what you want in life you keep persevering the joy and happiness will still be the same and before we go and this is a topic that I'll touch on another video is that farming is really important you need food for security the direction the wall is heading in I could foretell that there's gonna be famine so you gotta prepare for that you gotta plant crops that can stay longer you gotta plant ground provisions you even gotta go back to corn maize because food security is gonna become vital in the future and remember to subscribe if you're new here also like comment and share and to everybody in the High Altitude Show, this is your host, Ijan, peacing out.